September 13th so we are about a month away from deer season starting here in Alabama it's one of those things where you're trying to make the final preparations to have everything together but I think what I'm gonna try to do is um, just go ahead and, and try and make some sort of a little salt hole out here and uh, try and put up a camera just to see you know what sort of deer are coming through here and probably get it planted at the end of this month because the situation they have here is when they've planted early like you normally would um, they have had issues with army worms so it's basically like a little caterpillar um, that basically just eats up every crop that they put out and they've been really bad before so they're trying not to run the risk of having any issues with those army worms if they go ahead and plant in here early so you know sometimes when you build a new place you know build a new field or a new road um, I mean there's times where the deer can come in and you know they'll want to check that out so that's what I'm hoping for here so I was just mainly just wanting to get out here and try and set it up and uh, you know just start making this into a little kill plot hopefully so we'll see what happens <laughs>
Well folks, the season is finally here. It is opening weekend here in Alabama. Time to finally get out, try and find us a buck. See if we can't sling some arrows. Season's finally here and uh, should be a good time. So join us.
Thursday it got up to 80 and now then we're like just barely at 50 degrees this morning so I mean I'm not surprised that the deer are moving standing right behind those two does. That doe was right in the open. I was on the phone with my wife and like I was just walking back to the golf cart. Didn't think anything of it. Figured yeah. I haven't seen anything. And then all of a sudden I see these two does standing right there in this little edge right by the corner. Sudden, I can see antlers right next to them. I didn't really care about spooking the doe that much. I mean, she was right here. But then, next thing I know, I saw that bug right beside her. And then she, the doe blew and they all took off. I don't know, I'm wondering if I get on out of here. If we might see them this afternoon, possibly.
go ahead and uh, just get the cameras checked and uh, just see what sort of deer we're looking at this year. At least give some sort of a idea. here it's where I like to do a lot of my turkey hunting but um, I don't know this is a pretty pretty well used trail here but I may think about trying to come hunt down in here sometime not sure when that'll be it may be more of a gun season type thing but uh, yeah this should be a pretty good spot standing right here and two seconds later and this deer jumps up she was right right over there deer just jumps up out of her bed takes off down through here here I have been sitting around talking and it may have been like a like a fawn um, I mean it didn't look real big but like they've still got their spots on them right now so that may have been what it was that's crazy just I mean sitting right here and just talking to the camera and then all of a sudden this deer just jumps up right beside me I mean, you just never know <laughs> they're deer that's why it's so hard to be ready for them yeah I may have to try try something out with this place later on here I was just talking about what a good spot it could be and sure enough jump up a deer right beside me so I guess it's a good spot but it's interesting just to see kind of where that deer was bedded I mean it's right along the edge here of the cow pasture not very far into the woods there it's basically like the deer had enough cover um, to stay hidden but still had a pretty good view of the open area here with the pasture so pretty amazed that it didn't jump up when I first started walking in there but two big these two big acorn trees and you can see the oaks have really started dropping I 
seriously created my very own buck nest. Dude, three bucks on camera at the same time. Obviously it's not in daylight, but we've actually brought them in here. kidding me <laughs> that is too cool now four the 11 pointer has come back two days before the season opened well this is gonna be a good spot I like it I just gotta figure out how to bring them out during the day Well, opening weekend was pretty good overall. Um, it was nice to finally have a cool front and uh, get to actually see some deer movement in daylight. That was pretty nice. I was really surprised to have that encounter uh, with that seven point. I had seen him on camera at a different location, so I was pretty surprised to see him show up in daylight. But. I think the biggest takeaway from opening weekend was just getting some inventory on what type of bucks we had and um, seeing what ended up being five different bucks showing up in this new field that we've created. I mean, that was awesome. I was really impressed with that. So hopefully we can uh, get an opportunity at one of those bucks and uh, we'll see what happens. Overall, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm really excited to finally be able to start on deer season in October uh, on opening weekend. I don't normally get the opportunity to do that, so that's good that I'm finally getting to do that this year. So we should have some pretty good content coming uh, later this season. Um, we may even get an opportunity on these bucks we've seen on camera. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, make sure you do that. That will keep you up to date with everything that's going on with the channel. Drop a comment below if you've just started your season or let me know how your season's going. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to try and get everything ready for the next hunt. So um, stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.